Today we're going to draw a scene in the polar region inspired by Ted Harrison. First we're going to draw a horizon line across the center of our page. It can be a little bumpy. And then we're going to draw an iceberg on the bottom of our page. Draw a blob shape that has three bumps on each side. And then we're going to draw lines down to make it look three-dimensional. So if, when you draw a line down, if it hits another bump, you stop. If it doesn't hit another bump, you just go down a little bit, like I'm doing on the front and on the side. And then I'm going to draw a bottom piece for those parts. Now it'll look three-dimensional, like it's raised up out of the water. And then I'm going to draw a smaller one next to it. Same idea, three bumps on each side of the blob shape. Draw lines down from the corners of the blob shapes, and then draw a line on the bottom wherever you need to to make it three-dimensional. draw in the background on our horizon line mountains. Simple triangle shapes will work for your mountains. Probably three or four will fit nicely. Maybe one can go off the page. circle for a sun in the sky. And now to make our picture in the style of Ted Harrison, we're going to draw wavy lines across the sky. They can be short wavy lines, they can go off the page, they can go all the way across, but only in the sky right now, wavy lines that go across. And remember, don't draw too many. If they're too close together, that's a lot of coloring you have to do. Couple wavy lines on the mountain to break up the space on the mountains. And then for the water, we're going to do the same thing. Wavy lines that go across. Maybe they stop halfway. Maybe they go all the way across. Maybe they stop when they touch the iceberg. Maybe they go all the way across the page. And remember, don't make too many of them because that's a lot of coloring you have to do. So fill your water with wavy lines that go across the page. For coloring, I would choose four or five colors to go on the water and four or five colors to go on the sky. If you use blue in the sky and blue in the water, it might get to be too much blue. So maybe you choose a different color for your sky or a different color for your water. So 
So I'm going to use blues and purples for my water, and I'm going to use pinks and oranges for my sky, yellow for my sun, and my mountains are going to be green and gray. So choose the colors that you like for this project. Use crayon colored pencils, markers, or all three. It's up to you.
Thank you.